Welcome back to Nerd Cheek. Uh, right now I wanna take on another issue um, with this charging port error. So the first time around, my son had gotten this error just because he was plugging in the base into the wrong place. Watch my other video on that that I've got in my series on Amazon charging port errors. I got a playlist for it. So go watch that if you wanna see it, but it explains why we only use the base that we get with the Amazon or Kindle to charge this thing. So I'm still getting this error because he actually now actually spilt water on it. So bonus territory, now we're getting it for a good reason. However, I still need to charge this thing and there's no water in it. The first thing is, if you have water in it, take your Kindle and don't submerse it in rice, but set it on top of like a bowl of rice. And so the charging port area is near the rice. It'll draw the water out if it's there and wait a day and let it draw it out if it got in water if it didn't get in water and it's just doing this because you've been charging it with wrong cable or other issues here's a workaround i want to show you since i got it happening so let's plug it in and i'll let you hear the bing 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 when you got the screen hold on a second let me get it in the charging port oh wrong place here we go there it is notorious bing 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 you can't even press okay because it's still charging here's what we're gonna do leave it on and just hold down the power button ready and then you're gonna press power off. Guess what? It will charge from here. It'll completely charge. As long as you leave it plugged in and don't power it on specifically and purposefully, it's gonna charge. Just close it up. You don't have to wait for it to go out. Oh, look, it did it. It'll completely charge as long as I leave it alone. If I turn it on, it's gonna do the bing, bing, bing again. So what I've taught my son is every time he turns his off now, since he did indeed cause this water damage now after the fact, what I'm doing now is I'm having him literally do that process. So every time he, he goes to turn it off, he plugs it in, powers it off, and then it's gonna recharge. You come back in 20 or so minutes and it'll have charged. Now it's gonna charge a little slower, but it will charge. So from this point on, it's a workaround. You don't have to send it back. Some folks have reached out and said, hey, Dustin, I can't send it back. I'm in another country and I need to be able to use this. It's for my kids to go to school. This is how you do it. It will not harm a thing. Just keep doing it this way. Now, if it's got water in it, Put it in rice, give it a day to two days to dry out. If it hasn't had water in it, if there's no reason for it to happen, it's just because you use the wrong charger or whatever, that's your workaround and you can do this forever. So rather than get another Kindle for my son, I'm just doing this and um, he can deal with it because now it's not just the wire issue, he dumped water on it and whatever. Okay, so that's it for Nerd Cheek today. I hope this has helped. Keep asking questions. This tutorial was done because folks asked for more clarification. They asked for more, you know, tutorials. So I've got three out there on this water damage issue. If you've got any more questions about that or any other uh, question, hit the comments and ask or hit me up an email. You can see my contact info. Reach out to us. Don't forget, we've got askthenerd.net where we bring together all of our resources. We've got the Nerd Cheek YouTube channel right here that you can subscribe to. Please subscribe, share this if it's helped, tell everybody else about it. And then also we got the Ask Nerd podcast. We got a mobile app and so much more. Go get them, use them. And guys, just keep enjoying your Nerdiverse.